cheapo. It's time to go back to basics in a quite literal sense with another Poundland special! Where every item cost one pound and came from Poundland, except most of the items which didn't come from Poundland but came from 99p stores or Pound World. Or in fact, possibly another place where everything costs about a pound. Anyway, we don't care about that, we just want to see some tat. And this one definitely came from Poundland because I remember buying Luxury Short Wig. Mmm. Luxury, the watchword of course everybody thinks of when they think of Poundland. Here's a terrifying um, person who turned up for modelling on the wrong day and was forced to wear this strange bob wig that looks like a sort of acid addled version of the uh, musical Chicago. Not suitable for children or humans. Try me, we'll refund or replace if you are not happy with our quality. Well, it is luxury, I'm sure it'll be fine. This does not affect your statutory rights. Much. Keep away from fire and extreme sources of heat. Shit, I was going to use it as a crash hat when I flew to the sun. Oh well, that's ruined everything. And it's made by Perfect Moments. Yes, their items will ruin any perfect moment. Guaranteed. And there's nutshells on there. Oh, warning to avoid danger of suffocation, keep away from babies and children. Do not use in cribs, beds, carriages, prams, or playpens. This bag is not a toy. Oh, you're referring to the bag! At a horrifying image of a baby suffocating in a wig. God, imagine the embarrassment. So then, well, it's in a net, like a wig should be. I must admit, I'm not exactly a uh, expert in wigs. I don't wear them very often, obviously. Um, well, it's I think Spider-Man owned this previously by the looks of it. Um, how do we get it out? There we go. Get the world's cheapest uh, net hat off it and... Hmm. Wow. God, this reminds me of that Simpsons episode where they go to the um, Knoxville World's Fair or whatever and it's all that remains is the wig sphere. They will end up buying wigs. Well, what does it look like on then? Hello, I'm the fifth element and this wig is falling to bits because it's a cheap piece of shit. Fucking fabulous. So, what's next? <gasps> a novelty desk tidy? I have got a messy desk, and so I really want a plastic wheelie bin of the recycling variety to put things in. Oddly, our recycling bins around here are blue, and the ones you put general waste in are green, which doesn't make any sense. Surely the green one should be recycling, like this one, because that's a recycling logo. It's confusing. Well, I think Poundland have now, um, kind of gone utilitarian on us and are actually giving us items to bin all the rest of the crap we buy from there in directly. Ah well, cutting out the middleman. So what's it like? Mm, not very slightly flimsy plastic, it's sort of cheap, you can tell by the way it's got all um, sort of markings in the plastic. Inside, well it does look quite wheelie binish. that's where all the filth usually um, gets stuck and then you can't get it out and you have to pay some bastard with a high pressure hose to come round and uh, spray it off and profit from you. The wheels? No, that's not going to run the Indy 500. But there we are. I shall put it to one side and anything crap can go in it later. Let's rotate. Let's put it in the corner actually so it doesn't fall over. There we go. Now let's not put it there because that's out of arm's reach. There, that's better. It's going to sit on the side of camera like a sentinel. So, Poundland pregnancy test. It had to happen eventually. HCG one step pregnancy test. This will tell you if you are a pregnant. Over 99% accuracy, we lied. Fast, easy to read results, as long as you have three separate degrees in thermodynamics. Use any time of day. Oh, I see. And value for money. Oi, you don't get to say that. That is us to work out. It has a 20 ml use per milliliter of sensitivity. Ooh. Good for it, I'm impressed. First view, one step. Oh blimey, I'm going to drop a sprog. Better make sure. Yep, so if you're puking up in the mornings or watching loose women and not puking up, you may be pregnant. So uh, get yourself tested with one of these. How does this work? This pack contains one HCG urine pregnancy test. Please read the enclosed leaflet carefully before use. Nope! For self-testing, in vitro diagnostic use only. Not for internal use. Store away from direct sunlight. Do not freeze. That's a slightly odd thing, fair enough. Um, distributed by Health Points Limited, probably the same address as all the others, can't be bothered to check. Positive is two sticks, negative is one stick. Oh, and if you're an invalid, it refuses to work. Well, that's just bloody rude and discriminatory, you bastards. So what is inside then? Presumably one of them. Yeah, here we go. So how does it work? Give us the book of words. Come on. Ah, can't get it out. Come on, we don't have time for this. Ah. And there we are. Blimey. I think after all that exertion, um, we'll be too tired to make a baby. Right, 
and pregnancy test midstream. <laughs> Measures the presence of the hormone human cryonic gon gon gonadotropin. Wow, that's my new favourite word. In human urine for early detection of pregnancy. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. You do not need to take a urine sample, but if you wish to do so, ensure it's collected in a clean and dry container. Well, I think I know this works. It only takes five minutes to complete the test. Um, so basically, I need to drink it in some of my piss, and then I can find out if I'm pregnant or not. I would assume I'm not, on the grounds I'm male, and it's not possible for males to become pregnant. Um, you know, there's no way for the foetus to gestate, and we don't have the things that make babies anyway. If you didn't know that, you're probably too young to have a YouTube account. So, um, well, here we are. No, I'm not going to do it on camera, but... Oh look, a bit of silica gel. Do not eat. No, seriously, don't eat it. It's really fucking bad stuff. Don't put it on your chips. So, um, well, I'm off to piss on a stick. See you in a minute. Well, you'll be pleased to hear I held it in my piss stream for the full ten seconds. I held it in my piss stream being my new catchphrase there, maybe. <laughs> ah, what a great career I have. And, oh my goodness, I'm not pregnant. Well, thank the giddy aunts of God for that. I mean, blimey, I imagine pregnancy for a man could be a hilarious romp that makes you challenge uh, the roles people play in society, like the Arnold Schwarzenegger film Last Action Hero, or it could indeed be a harrowing, miserable nightmare, much like the Arnold Schwarzenegger film Junior. So, what's next now I'm not pregnant? Oh God, the caps come off. I don't really want pea-soaked stuff on the sofa. Did I really need to explain that? I don't think most people do. I'd better dispose of it properly, actually. <sighs> Perfect. Right, what's next on the agenda of excitement? Oh shit, it's loom bands. Right, this is apparently the latest craze, and by latest I mean slightly out of date craze, um, that kids have been doing because of stuff. I don't know. We've all had crazes. At school, um, our crazes were for armed robbery and uh, trimbles. But anyway, as seen on YouTube, that is now correct. 300 bands, one knotting hook, 12 S-clips. I have no idea what all that is. S-clip 7 was a band, I'm pretty sure of that. So, loom bands, solid, mixed colours. Very small rubber bands. And that's about it, really. Right, what is the concept behind these? You can make, like, uh, yeah, bracelets and bangles and get them too tight, wrapped around your finger and you fall asleep and you lose a fucking finger over it. It has actually happened to somebody. Oh my god! There's a new sad onion! I wish I had a theme song for new sad onions, but I don't. Let's make one up. Wish I hadn't done that, that was horrible. Right, there it is. It looks kind of, um... I don't know. It looks like it's waiting. Soon. Soon. Yeah, it's creepy, sad onion, for naught to six. Not suitable for children under six years of age. YouTube is a trademark of Google Incorporated, not affiliated with the seller. Yep, I don't think anything's affiliated with the seller, because I believe you just made that word up. Um, so, let's open it up and look at the instructions and see what the hell all this guff is about. Then. Um, as I say, this is some sort of schoolyard um, fad that was going around. The thing is, um, companies can react so quickly now that Poundland was full of these things in an astonishingly short period of time. Well, you do get a lot for your pound. I don't know if they're good ones or not, how you'd even tell. You can stretch them and they're not breaking, that's probably a good sign. Very stretchy, rubbery stuff. These will be the S-clips then. And a hooky bando, as I've just decided to call it. So what's the deal? One, insert rubber band into S-clip. Let's have an S-clip then. Reach for the stars. Right, insert rubber clamp into S clip. Gotcha. Two, pass second rubber band through first rubber band. Oh, I see what's going on here. Yeah. Three, fold to make a double loop. And then four, pass next rubber band through the double loop. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Fold again to make another double loop. Are we bored yet? Repeat step to three to make take them from the leader. Repeat to ten to four times to make a bracelet size. Pass the last double loop to the other. Close and enjoy your bracelet, as I'm sure you will. Well, here we go then. Um, I shall attempt to make a uh, fantastic loom band bracelet. Fucking useless piece of shit! And look at that! I'm quite pleased with this. It took quite a lot of uh, looming, as you can tell, and it's a very strong design. But, you know, it's quite cool colours. And, uh, well, the trick to it, I discovered, is not to make it yourself, but just put a show on camera something that somebody gave you at the Manchester Comic Convention. No, I don't know why they gave me one of these, but thank God they did, because it's come in very handy to show you what something could look like if you could be bothered to actually make it. 
my god, it's cutting off my circulation. No, it isn't. Well, it isn't now. So, that's the latest schoolyard fad been and gone, and the kids in the playground will have to go back to punching each other or whatever it is they do. And instead, we shall move on to... Circus World. Die, cast, metal, plastic, make your fucking mind up, play set. Free wheeling, tampon, wrestling, tampon, ranting, tampon, tampo, rate, tampo, chap, chap. We'll come back to that. <clears throat> Canadian dollar market, $1.49. Canadians, you're not doing it right, lads. The whole point of a dollar market is everything costs a dollar. $1.49, that's cheating. Circus World. Creepy Ken says, I'm no longer allowed to leave my house. Yes, Circus World. And oh my giddy aunt, what is going on here? And most of the point, what's going on with the actual um, sizes and scale of this? This is frightening. Not three sad onions. Ah, a good old normal one, just to throw us back in. Thank you to whoever sent this in, by the way. This thing's given me nightmares before I even opened the packet. So, we have... Small plastic barrel. Oh, sorry. <coughs> Remember, kids, always recycle. Um, what else we got? We have terrifying... Looks like a bit like an enemy from one of those old side-scrolling uh, beat-em-up games you'd get in the arcade, like Final Fight um, and Streets of Rage and that. Not the Streets of Rage was in the arcade, I know that, it was a Mega Drive game. Or Genesis if you're in America. There, I look forward to you picking other nits. Um, yeah, and you'd have to beat her up before she removed your health bar and you had to go and eat a massive turkey you found under a bin to replenish it. Because video games... Yeah. No, it's not particularly creepy on its own until you realise how big she is, or how small the car is. Technically it is die-cast metal, but cast by an idiot, frankly. There's the circus logo, with the creepy clown, marvellous, and the wheels barely go round, and... I wouldn't be pleased with this for one dollar, I don't think, let alone one forty-nine. And, uh... What is this? Ah, freewheeling and tampo printing! Ah, it's referring to the car, yeah, for freewheeling, and that is apparently a tampo print. Marvellous. That means it was stuck onto the tampon. I don't know. There's a little trampoline. Hee hee. Hee That was fun, wasn't it? And, oh my god, flaming wheel of death. Sorry, that reminded me of Blues Brothers 2000 and therefore needs to be thrown away immediately. Better. And finally, we have terrifying... Right, it's a juggalo. We can work that much out. Uh, he's been shot in the head. That much is blatantly obvious. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. And he's got a sort of sticky rubber monkey with him, which is a bit worrying. And frankly, the way it was on here, it appeared to be shagging him. So he's being um, humped by a rubber monkey and he's flat on his back. He's clearly dead. So what we're looking at here is a dead juggalo being fucked by a silver monkey, uh, which is obviously a popular addition to any Canadian circus. That's, uh, well, um... Bloody hell, that thing's coming useful, isn't it? Go on then, let's have a look at one last thing. How about... Snap X! 40 pieces! And bad haircuts. Yep, he's regretting following Dad to work that day. Go on, Josh, just let me take one photo of you holding up whatever the fuck that thing is. Right, Castle Adventures Tricorn Crew. So this is like Lord of the Rings meets Hellraiser. So there's like a big cube and there's monsters and stuff. But it is from uh, Giocchi Preziosi which is Italian for, hello, my name is Pedro, and I'm not actually Italian. Um, what have we got on the back here? Descriptions, please. The roars of the proud Tricorn champion are an attack signal for the raptor soldiers. Oh, we haven't got any of those. Now is the time to take up arms and fight for the glory of the kingdom of the... S Sauron Snapbots Barbarians. Oh, fuck off. Discover the world of Snapex Castle Adventures. No, we never look at the website because they're always full of malware. Well, probably not, but I pretend they are. Um, I had to really wrench this box open earlier to open it, by the way. And I'm glad I did. What fun we're going to have. Um, what other sets are available? Square things. Lots of square things. And square things that loosely resemble a castle. One to one, four snap bots. Oh, good. I was worried there wouldn't be four snap bots, but there are. And now everything is right with the world. Here's how to make your single cube. Hey, this is from Poundland, so uh, I'm not going to moan a lack of pieces. And yeah, everything else is in here, apparently. Well, I'm going to open this up. Ah, by using teeth and hands, just like the barbarian Lego builders of old. And we shall now. Zip forward to a future time where it's all complete. 
Well, I think we've got a handle on this, and I know why it's called Snapex, because all the pieces just snap together. <laughs> Look, and here's a box they can use to keep loom bands in, because that's exactly what all monstrous warriors need in their chests. Yes, I don't really, yeah, I mean, this is like a building system for stuff, but they just give you one cube, it's a bit dull, really. Um, it's well enough made, and it fits together nicely. It also has remarkably comprehensive instructions for something that was obviously incredibly simple to make, but uh, whatever. But the lid won't stay on, so all their loom bands will be stolen by the rival clans. The figure themselves... Um, well, we've got a slight problem with the rubber. It seems to have perished over time, as you can see by all the horrible dust coming off it. It's still sort of held together. And, well, they don't do a whole lot, to be honest, because they are constructed like this. An entirely uh, rigid skeleton that you then pop some boots on, comme ça, and then you stick this bit over the top, and voila, an evil warrior with no hands or anything of that type. And these things just sort of clip onto them. And we're, hey, an army for everyone. And look, here's the boss. He's got bigger boots, a kind of triceratops hat thing going on, and a big orange axe. Oh well, um, I mean, if that was sold cheaply enough, it could be a quite a nice little toy for kids. You know, and a pound each, it's all good. However, I do suspect the only reason they were in Poundland is because it was unsold stock. So that's a bit of a shame, but such is life. What's next? I know! Cakes! Well, sadly untrue. It's actually cooking utensils to help you make cakes. Now, why on earth am I showing you a set of measuring cups and spoons? Because they are from Jane Asher's Kitchen. When I first saw this, I thought it said Jane Ashen's Kitchen, and thought I'd done some weird um, tie-in with a woman's name, and forgotten about it. Jane Asher, incidentally, is an actress who was sort of uh, famous in the 70s and 80s, and yet, weirdly, is more famous for making cakes than she is for actually acting. I don't know how that happened, but fair enough. And she's actually getting to curate her own area of Poundland with these uh, little bits and bobs. Look, a sorted set of sizes you could want for measuring both dry and liquid ingredients. Thanks, Jane. You rock. I've developed this essential Jane Ashes kitchen range, so it's easy to make delicious cakes, breads and biscuits every time. Thanks, Jane. So, tip. In baking, accurate measurements are important. Yes, yes, yes. As they are in most things, particularly for making explosives or hard drugs. Wash before first use. Mm, always true of anything in life. So, yeah, I mean, that's quite a nice little thing. I want to curate an area of Poundland. I could have it full of tat. All right, I'm beginning to understand why they probably wouldn't do that, actually. But anyway, this is a nice little set, and for a quid, I mean, it's got everything you need there to measure. I don't know if I need to measure something that small, but who knows if you would one day. What a lovely little set. In fact, I tell you what, let's have a look at some positive stuff from Poundland, because we do go in and deliberately buy the very worst things. So let's have a quick look at some stuff that isn't shit you can actually get in there. And by Poundland, I mean any of the um, Pound-related stores. So it could be 99 piece stores, it could be Pound World. We don't judge. <clears throat> well, we do judge. We judge consistently and harshly, but we do not discriminate between lands of Pound. I mean, look what you can get for a quid. Biscuits. Look what else you can get for a quid. Shit loads of Jaffa Cakes. 24 Jaffa Cakes. £2.59 RRP, just off the shelf in one of the shops. I think it was Pound World. Not entirely sure. Could have been Pound Land. I mean, that's a lot of Jaffa Cakes. That's like instant diabetes. Absolutely fantastic. I don't keep them in the house, because I will, of course, compulsively eat them all if I do have them here. For that is the curse of the Jaffa Cake. What else do we have? Oh, um, how about a really expensive Belkin high-speed HDMI to HDMI mini cable? These are like 18 quid or something insane in PC world. Yes, just in Poundland. Oh, how about a premium super speed USB 3A to micro B cable? I bought this, I'll probably never need it, but hey, if I ever need one spare, there it is. How about 10 mixed fuses? Why not? What about a Belkin, again, 90 degree right angled HDMI adapter? I bought this, and again, there's a chance I'll never use it, but there is also a chance one day I'll be trying to plug something into television and think, fuck, this won't, but wait! Poundland to the rescue. Bluetooth USB dongle that's extremely small. Why the hell not? Probably doesn't give out much signal, but hey, it's much better than no Bluetooth at all, and it's a bloody pound. It's even uh, marked up by signal X. Look, and that's not all. How about fucking World of Warcraft um, expansions? I shit ye not, Squire. Bloody Poundland. The only disappointing thing is um, neither of these, of course, include the original version of World of Warcraft. 
but isn't that now? Don't you get that free if you do something or other? I don't know how it works, but I'll tell you what does work. Putting those over there. In fact, let's just take a moment to look back on Poundland and the stuff they sell that's actually quite good for a pound. I mean, look at this! Oh shit, and it was going so well! Look! A bloody head torch! A working head torch for a pound! Of course it doesn't come with batteries, but they sell them for a pound! It's bloody amazing if you think about it. It's why people keep asking for Poundland food specials when we look at the crap food in there. The problem is 99% of the food is absolutely fine. It's in fact registered brands you know and have heard of. You just get it in small amounts. I mean, it's a bloody miracle. HDMI cables, a pound. 50 pence pieces, a pound. Hang on.